We know that completing university courses will be a challenge. What kind of resources do we have for our students? Here is a list of the many resources available to help students be successful. The handbook will be emailed to you with your email confirmation and also can be found on our High School Dual Credit webpage. Access to the library is provided for all on-campus and online students. Connect State is a system we use for early alerts. If students are missing assignments, have low scores, or haven't attended class lately or logged into D2L, instructors will issue early alerts which are directed to me. I will then contact the high school and inform them so they can follow up with the student. Smart Thinking is our online tutoring system. If you do not see Smart Thinking in your course content, please contact your instructor or me. We have produced many student success videos that include tips for online success about time management, stress management, how to do a how to do a discussion post, online group work, etc. So check them out. Our career and major planning tool allows students to explore the many majors offered here at SDSU. Jessica will cover more on that later. Dual credit students who wish to modify their original course selection must complete the add drop form, which needs to be signed by the student, parent, and high school. We require this so we know everyone is aware the student is changing their original schedule. We don't want students dropping courses that may affect their high school requirements. The form should be returned to the teaching institution. Visit this link for a copy of the form or contact your counselor or myself. Grades for exams, quizzes, and assignments are posted in D2L, and only the student has access to these grades. If the high school requires a quarter grade, the student can either show them their progress in D2L, or he or she may contact the instructor for a current grade. Final grades are posted in WebAdvisor for the student to view. Final grade reports are mailed to the high schools once they are verified by the South Dakota Board of Regents. After a discussion of dual credit logistics and academic course selection, there are still bound to be questions. So we want to tackle a few of the most popular ones and most common questions that we get. One example, what if I take a class at another South Dakota Board of Regents University? Will it count towards my general education goals when I attend SDSU? The answer is yes. You don't have to worry about transferring credits. They're all in the Board of Regents system. So for example, if you took English 101 from one of our sister schools and then attended here at South Dakota State pursuing your bachelor's degree, your credits are here. However, we need to reiterate that some majors will require specific general education classes and if a student has completed a goal at another school, they will have those credits. They will be here with us at SDSU when you arrive. However, programs may require students to complete those general education courses that they have specified for their major. And again, finally, as we've mentioned before, some majors in graduate programs may not accept AP or CLEP test credit. Another question that's common. What if I want to take my South Dakota Board of Regents credits to another college or university outside our system? Students will need to order an official transcript from the university. In this program, we've provided a link for you to our Records and Registration page. There you can order your transcript, whether paper copy or digital, and have it sent to the location, the university of your choice.